In the next 30 minutes, you're going to discover the quickest and proven step-by-step -step blueprint system for attracting and keeping at least 240 new top quality clients in the next 12 months. Without frustration or wasting all your money and time on marketing and advertising, that will never work in under five minutes per day. I'm giving away so much impossible to find marketing and advertising strategies specifically for the salon spa industry that I may end up making this a paid presentation. So watch this now while it's still online and still free. This is for salon and spa owners and independent stylists and technicians. If you want to get new high, high paying clients quickly, if you're just starting out or move to another location and must have good new clients now, if you've been in the business for a while and you realize it's a lot more difficult to get new clients than ever before, if you're attracting the wrong type of client like price shoppers and want high paying clients, if your location is not that good and it's costing you business because people can't see your sign or find you and you aren't getting any walk-ins, if you're in the part of the country where your clients go south when it's cold and north when it's hot and it's negatively affecting your income, if your staff is unmotivated to help you get new clients, if your competition is moving in and taking your clients away, if you feel that you're just not able to charge more for the high quality services you provide, if you want to get younger clients coming in, if you're located in a small town and can't seem to grow your business, if you are frustrated and maybe even embarrassed with the low amount of money you are personally making each month, if you've never tried to market and advertise to get new clients and therefore you don't know what works and what doesn't or how to even go about it, if you tried one or more of all these methods to get new clients and nothing worked for you, TV, radio, direct mail, flyers, newspaper ads, bail pack, Google, Facebook, Yelp, Groupon, and even a website. If you've been in business for a while and know things have changed, people are not as loyal as they used to be, and you realize you must change with the times to stay competitive, grow, and make more money. If you want to finally eliminate all your stress, get your life back, and make the money you always dreamed about and the lifestyle to go along with it. If you are working too hard and too many hours for the money you do make and want to work less behind your chair and make more money, you know deep down you deserve much better. In this presentation, you're going to discover the five, the best five surefire methods to get and keep new high quality clients in our new digital economy. My little known secret seven step formula to make certain all your marketing and advertising gets the possible best possible response. The four biggest myths salon and spa professionals falsely believe, which is holding them back from growing and prospering. Why, for 22 years, I could never get new clients. I got into debt $80,000 and almost went bankrupt. And what I did to turn it all around so you can avoid what I did. Why everything you have tried to do to get new clients has failed and why it's probably not your fault. What are the real costs to you because you can't get new clients? There's nothing for sale in this webinar presentation, but I do have a special gift for you at the end. My promise to you is this. I will be the salon professional who finally cuts through the confusion and tells you the honest to goodness truth on how to get and keep new high quality clients once and for all. Does this sound like you? You know you and your staff are really good at what you do, but that alone is not filling up your book of appointments. You are overwhelmed with all the conflicting advice about how to get new clients coming in. Advertising feels like a black hole that will take your money and leave you broke and confused. You start to make some progress, get some clients, and then it stops. You have all the responsibility and risk of being an owner, but aren't getting all the financial rewards. You know the type of client you want, but can't seem to get enough of them. Your business is not growing or has even flatlined instead of growing each year. Is your salon or spa business giving you everything you don't want? These are symptoms of your problem. These are not your problem. You need the right system. Not another advertising salesperson promising they will get you clients. Not another styling or hair coloring technique. Not another posting in an online directory. Not a new brochure or website, not a remodeled salon or spa, not another clinic, not another Groupon groupie, not a sneaky trick that gets cheap clicks from Facebook, 
not a better location, not better stylus. Once you implement this system, you'll be able to grow your business virtually on demand. You'll be able to get new clients with ease, never having to worry about where your new clients are going to come from next. You'll be able to build a real salon and spa business that is automated, scalable, simple, and takes care of you and your family for years to come. You will finally have the time and financial freedom you want, the income you need and deserve to be able to live the lifestyle you know is possible. You'll be able to do it without stress, frustration, being overwhelmed, or the anxiety you're now living with. You will see how easy it is to get new clients and have a business that finally can provide for you and your family. My Blueprint System. I've perfected over the last 10 years the five best ways in today's economy to get new to get a constant flow of new clients coming in without stress, frustration, or getting overwhelmed. I'm Mike Colosi, the president of Salon Spa Marketing Toolkit. I've started working in my father's salon and then purchased it when I was 24. I had no business or marketing experience and for the next 22 years struggled and suffered mainly because I failed miserably at getting new clients cost effectively and as a result I buried myself in debt and almost went bankrupt. Then I turned it all around and in four short months became the fastest growing salon in my area, eliminated all my debt and became hugely profitable. I live outside Rochester, New York with my wife and five kids. Here's what happened. When I was at my breaking point and about to file bankruptcy, I went to see my older brother Mark. Mark and I slept in the same bedroom when we were kids. He was on the bottom bunk and I was on the top. We got a lot of mischief growing, to, growing up together. He left home and went away to college for four years. We both grew up and our lives took separate paths. I never really knew what Mark did for a living. All I knew was it involved sales and marketing of some kind. I do remember he was always listening to audio tapes in his car, reading business books, and traveling to conferences and never thought much about it. Now, Mark's a very reserved kind of guy. He never talked much about what he did for a living, and it crossed my mind a few times that he worked for the CIA or some other secret government agency. Now, I say this because he seemed to travel a lot had a big house, nice cars, and didn't seem to work that hard and always had plenty of money. Well, I found out over the years that Mark had evolved into a marketing and advertising expert. He owned a few companies and became a self-made millionaire in the process. For years, the answers I've been searching and searching for were so darn close to me, yet I didn't see them. For heaven's sake, he's my brother and we're only two years apart. Now, Mark told me he thought I was doing just fine all those years, so a business connection was never made with Mark and I until now. Have you ever heard this phrase before, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear? That is what I believe happened to me on that day, and that may be happening to you today because you're on this webinar with me right now. For the next four months, Mark taught me things about marketing my salon business that I never thought were even possible. He also put me in touch with his circle of marketing geniuses he relies on his businesses. I learned what really makes people respond and pick up the phone and call for appointments. I learned how to position my salon in the in the marketplace and how to charge premium prices that clients would happily pay. I learned how to gain back control of all my stylists. He created marketing systems and strategies for me to test and refine. Things were really starting to look up. I never worked so hard on my salon business in those four months, but it really paid off for me. I was consistently getting more and more clients every month. I started charging premium prices. I became the fastest growing salon in my area. I had seven top-notch stylists and other stylists from other salons saw my parking lot was always full and wanted to come to work for me. I was knocking my debt down at an alarming rate. I was starting to feel like I was in total control of my future. My salon was running like a well-oiled machine now. I was figuring out that the less I worked behind my chair and the more I worked on marketing, the more money I would make. To me, the next logical step was to open up another salon and double my profits. So I went to talk to Mark about the idea. So I told Mark about this idea of opening up another salon. He thought about it for a while and said, I've got a better idea for you, Mike. He said, if you faced all the challenges with marketing advertising your salon, I bet there are thousands of salon professionals that have the same challenges. Why don't you help them with what you've learned and implemented in this past year? I think it will help a lot of salon and spa owners to be a big success. So that's what I did, and that's why I'm here right now talking with you. Actually, with Mark's help, I ended up formulating a step-by-step -step blueprint system that hundreds of salon spa owners have been following now for the past 10 years, and it's ideally positioned to empower you to make a boatload of cash and to do it faster than ever. 
Okay, before I show you the five best methods to get new clients, I want to tell you about four salon and spa industry myths that a lot of us continue to believe. Okay, myth number one is salon and spa owners think it's expensive to advertise to get clients. First off, some salon and spa professionals don't even think you should advertise at all. They are under the delusion that if you have a good location, provide good services, then clients will beat your door down. We all know this is not reality. This is what they teach you at salon school, and nothing is farther from the truth. Every business has to advertise to get clients and customers, and the salon and spa business is no different. Some of us believe that referrals and walk-ins is all will be all you need to prosper and grow. This is a very dangerous thinking because you cannot control these things, so you end up relying on them when you can't. This is no way to run a business that you're counting on for you and your family's financial well-being, is it? Okay, back to the myth. It's too expensive to advertise to get new clients. I know how salon spa owners feel. I used to feel like this too. After I bought my father's salon, I tried everything to get new clients and nothing worked. So I always lost money and it was expensive. Advertising when done properly is supposed to do just the opposite, make you money. Here's what I mean by that. Let's use my salon as an example. I advertise on Facebook and I get a new client for $10. The first time they come in, they spend $77. So I net $67. That's the 77 minus the 10. And then the next time they come in, it doesn't cost me anything. So I know on average, they will end up giving me $6,930 over our entire relationship. I'm gonna cover here in a minute the lifetime value of a client. So I paid $10 to bring in $6,930. Would I pay more like 50? You betcha. And I still make a lot of money. And this does not include any referrals you get from them. Okay then, advertising is not expensive or done properly. It makes you money. It does not cost you money. Are you with me here? Okay, great. The second method us salon spouters believe is we need to become a marketing and advertising expert to be successful. This is frankly not true at all. I wasn't an expert at all when my brother showed me the proper systems to use. So if you have a very basic understanding, which you'll have after this presentation, and use the proper systems, you can be usually successful. Here's an analogy for you. If you had the most highly skilled jockey in the Kentucky Derby, but his horse was untrained, slow, and had a bad leg, do you think you will win the race? Not a chance. On the other hand, if you had a subpar jockey, but he was riding the fastest, most well-trained, best conditioned horse, and has a track record of winning, do you think he has a good chance of winning? Of course he does. So the marketing and advertising systems are the well-trained, most conditioned, fastest horse in the race. So forget the notion that you have to become an expert because you don't. I'm living proof. Here's another one. You don't have the time to implement advertising. Right now, because you don't have enough clients coming in for all your staff, you're most likely working way more behind your chair than you want to. Am I right here? Well, once you have the systems in place to get new clients and they start coming in, you can work less and you can spend a little time on advertising. And if you don't have systems in place or the proper systems, you can waste a tremendous amount of time spinning your wheels trying to find something that works. So if you have the right systems in place, it takes very little of your time to get new clients coming in. And here's the last, last myth. It's too technical and complicated to advertise. Well, it can be if you, if you get yourself bogged down with all the technical and complicated stuff, but you don't have to. A TV is technical and complicated, but you have no problem using it because it's a well-tuned system of electronics. So is your stove and other appliances in your home, and you have no problem using them getting the results you want, right? A marketing and advertising system is no different. You just need to know how to implement it and use it properly to get the results you want, which is high new quality clients. So advertising is not complicated the level you're going to use it. All right, it's very important that you know and understand that my five methods I'm going to show you here next all have a few things in common, which is the reason they work so well. First off, they all target your ideal client. What do I mean? It is pointless and a complete waste of money to advertise to people who would never be your client. 
For example, my ideal client for my salon is working women from ages 30 to 70 who make a good income and live within 10 miles of my salon. If you try to advertise on TV, for an example, or in a big newspaper, 95% of the people who see your advertisement would never be your client because they're the wrong sex, the wrong age, they don't make a good amount of money, and they don't live close to your location. Secondly, all my methods are direct response marketing and advertising. All right, direct response advertising is the exact opposite of image or brand advertising. It's any type of advertising that gets you a direct response, hence the name direct response advertising. This would be like a Facebook ad that gets someone to call you for an appointment or book online, or a coupon they cut out in the newspaper and bring it in, or a direct mail uh, letter that gets them to call you for an appointment. This is much different than image or brand advertising where the advertisement is not getting the person to immediately take some kind of action, like most of the advertising you see on TV. What they're trying to do with brand and image advertising is capture that little part of your brain uh, for their product or service. For example, cola. You either like Pepsi, Coke, or perhaps Dr. Pepper, or uh, cellular phone. You usually, you either use AT&T, Verizon, or perhaps Sprint. So what the advertiser is trying to do there is capture that little space in your mind so the next time you're going to uh, be out shopping, um, you want them to choose your product. So that's image and brand advertising. Now, as salon owners, we can't do that because we're not like a big corporation. We don't have a national world presence with a multi-million dollar advertising budget. You don't have the, the large amount of money and the years it takes to make image or brand advertising actually work. You need new clients quickly and inexpensively. Plus, it's the least cost and most effective method. And these methods are measurable and trackable so you know right away when they're working. And they all have embedded in them the seven-step formula which I'll be covering next. Okay, all my methods follow this formula. Why? Because this is where all the emotional and psychological triggers are that make people respond. We are all hardwired to respond to certain words, images, and colors, and knowing what they are and having these things in your marketing and advertising is a big help. Without them, you'll fail miserably. Like having a great headline because you have less than a second to capture someone's attention and a great headline does that for you. An example of great headlines are like what you see on the magazines when you're waiting to check out in the grocery store. They really grab your attention and copywriters have paid big money to write good headlines. We are bombarded with so many advertising messages every day. We need something to get people's attention. This is what a headline does for you. And using testimonials, because what others say about you is way more believable than what you could ever possibly say about yourself. Now, would you be more willing to try a restaurant if your friend was raving about how great it was or, or if you saw an ad for it in the newspaper or if you saw an ad for the uh, uh, restaurant in the newspaper? Of course, you believe your friend over the ad every time. This is why testimonials are so important. And you must have an irresistible offer to entice people to take action because all people want to feel they're getting something special. Don't you feel great when you get a deal? It doesn't matter a person's economic status. Everyone wants a deal. Your advertising must answer the question, what's in it for me, or WIFM for short. Every single person when faced with a buying decision to make have a little radio station going on their head called WIIFM. And you must quickly and clearly tell them, What's in it for them or you're going to lose them? And you must only have one objective in all your advertising. Now, we've all seen advertisers with so much going on in them that we can't figure out what to do next. And a confused mind shuts down. This is precisely why if you ever used Valpack, it never worked. Because your offer was stuffed in an envelope with up to 50 others. So there was not one objective, there was 50. In addition, you must have compelling reasons which differentiate you. From all your competition, what makes you better? What makes you unique that allow you to get and that allow you to demand and get premium prices? If you don't give people the criteria for what makes you different, then they will think you're the same as a salon down the street. They'll have no choice but to compare you on the only thing they can compare you on, and that is price. And you don't want that. So this is called your competitive advantage. What is your competitive advantage? And lastly, you must have an automatic follow-up system in place because people don't switch to you when you want them to. 
They do it when they're ready. So by keeping in contact with them, when they are ready, they are going to choose you because your competitors aren't following up. You know, for a sales to happen, in this case, for someone to pick up the phone and call you for an appointment, you must have the right message going to the right person at the right time. So you could have a perfect message targeting your ideal client, but the timing is not right for them. They could be very happy at the moment with the salon or spa they are going to. However, if you have a system in place to follow up with them, if they get dissatisfied, they're going to switch to you because you follow up with them and your competitors aren't. Okay, you got that? All right, the only difference between a dollar bill and a hundred dollar bill is the message. They have the same size and shape printed on the same paper, but one is a hundred times more valuable. Similarly, your advertising can run in the same places, including Facebook and your website, as everyone else's. That gets you 10, 15, 25 times the response or more if you understand and use the formula I just went over. Does this make sense to you? Okay, great. Let's move on. And finally, all my methods are scalable. What do I mean? Let's say you start out and you get 10 clients from one of my methods and you want more than 10 clients. You simply do more of that method. And if you want less, you do less. You got that? All right, there are two other things you must know about. The first thing is that the number one is the scariest number in business. Why? Because if you only have one way to get clients and it stops working because something out of your control, your new client flow stops dead in its tracks. On the other hand, if you have, say, three or four ways to get new clients and one stops working, you're still going to be fine. So please get this and don't put yourself in an unnecessary risk position. You know, there's not a day that goes by where I'm talking to a salon or spa owner and they tell me about a way they used to get clients and then it stopped working. And it was the only thing they relied on to get new clients. Don't let this happen to you. It's financial suicide. And secondly, you must re retain and leverage your clients. Why? Well, for a few reasons. First, if you look at your business as a bucket of water, you got to make sure that there are no holes in your business where you're losing clients because it's your fault before you start adding new clients because clients are worth a lot to you. And what's the point of extending all the effort to get new clients if they don't stay with you? I wanted to issue to a very important marketing concept right now. It's called the lifetime value of a client or LTV for short. The LTV is the amount of money you will receive from one of your clients over their lifetime association with you. The way you figure out the LTV of one of your clients is simply take the number of times they come in during the year times the amount of money they spend times the number of years they're a client. This will give you your LTV. Now in a minute, I'm going to tell you why knowing this number for yourself is so important. But first, here's the lifetime veil of a client in my salon as an example. My average clients come into my salon 10 times a year. On average, they spend $77.00 and they continue being my client on average for nine years, then they move or whatever. Now I have clients who spend more or less with me and have been with me less than and more than nine years. These are these numbers, if you took all my clients and averaged them out, yours may be a little lower, a lot higher. And this number does not include any referrals you get from them. Then it really multiplies, it gets exciting. All right, your LTV will be at least $5,000 because of the hundreds of salon professionals I've worked with over the years, I've never had one where their LTV was, was lower. Now, depending on what you charge and how often you see your clients, your LTV may be a lot higher. I have several salon professionals I work with that have an LTV of $20,000 or more. All right, why is this number so important for you to know and how can it help you in your marketing? First, you're not going to look at your clients differently and treat them much better because you know they're worth a lot to you. In my case, $6,930. Secondly, you do more to, you'll do more to make sure they continue to be your client and thirdly, you know how much you can spend to get a new client because you know how much money they're going to give you over their lifetime association with you. What I mean here is it would be reasonable to spend $10 or $20 to get a new client when they're going to give you $6,930 over, say, the next nine years. This is an excellent return on your investment, or ROI as they call it. This would be like going to your bank and depositing $10 or $20, and then in the next nine years it would build up to $6,930. And this is only for one new client. Are you with me here? Because this is important. You understand the lifetime veil of clients as we move forward. Okay, great. And secondly, you want your clients to refer others to you. This is how you leverage your clients. And the way you leverage your clients is you get referrals from them. There's a marketing term called birds of the same feather flock together. What this means is that your clients, friends, family members, and associates are like them. 
They share the same interests and values. So because of this, there's a very good chance that their friends, family members, and associates will like you too because they're a lot like your client. So they will be your very best clients who pay, stay, and refer others to you. Okay, my first way to get new clients is by using Facebook advertising. Now, most salon professionals are doing it all wrong. They are putting a post on their Facebook page and then in some case paying to boost the post and this will never work at getting you new clients. You must advertise on Facebook and unless you're an expert in writing copy and writing ads, don't try this alone. And for heaven's sake, don't take any advice from Facebook themselves because they will suck your money from you without getting any new clients and you're going to get very frustrated. Okay, my specific method requires precise and critical elements and targets your ideal client in only your market area and gets you new clients for under $10 each. And I've already figured everything out, so all you do is plug my proven system in or we can even do it for you. Believe me, this will be easier for you than matching one of your client's hair color. All right, Chrissy is a client of mine and we're getting between 45 and 50 new clients every month for her. And these clients are not tire kickers or price shoppers or Groupon groupies. These are high quality clients, the cream of the crop, who pay, stay, and refer others to her. And Ken is killing it using my system and getting one or two new clients a day from it. All right, my second method to get new clients is by using direct mail. Now, most salon professionals are doing it all wrong. And if you tried any type of direct mail in the past, this is why it didn't work for you. There are three major things they are doing wrong. First, they are targeting all the people in their market area. People who already are going to another salon or spa are too hard to lure away because they most likely are happy. Instead, target only the people who have recently moved into your area. Now, 15% of the population moves each year, so about 40 million people move, and some of these people are moving to your area, and you send the direct mail to only those people. Secondly, the envelope they're using to, for their direct mail is not designed properly and therefore not getting open and tossed away before it's getting open, so people are not even reading the offer inside. And thirdly, if the letter or offer does get read, it's not written in a compelling way for people to respond. It doesn't follow my seven-step formula. It's missing all the emotional and psychological triggers that make people respond. And I'm sorry to say that if you leave it up to the so-called experts who do your mailing like the printing company or the advertising company, they will take all your money and you won't get any clients. They are only trained on how to sell you direct mail services. They don't know how to make direct mail actually work. Okay, my specific new mover mailing system targets your ideal client in only your market area that just moved in. And my clients report back to me that they're getting up to a 23% response. This means if you mail 50 letters, up to 11 people will call you for an appointment. And the best part of this is the entire mailing system I have is designed. It's very simple to do and it can't be any easier. While we're on the subject of direct mail, when a client of yours does not come in on a regular schedule, there's a chance that they have left you for your competition. Now, most salon spa professionals don't do anything about this, and they will never make any more money from that client. This really hurts when the LTV of one of your clients can be on the low side $5,000 and up to $20,000. What I do and what my salon and spa clients do is send them my client reactivation letter. And when done properly, up to 32% of the clients come back. You see, some people were sorry they left, but they feel embarrassed to come back. And a properly written letter mailed in a specific way will get some to come back. This letter and how it is mailed have to be done properly. The way I do it or it won't work. This is another thing that's very easy and simple to do. Okay, my third way to get new clients is by using automatic email promotions. Again, most salon professionals are doing it all wrong. And if you're emailing your clients and prospects now using Constant Contact, AWeber, or Demand Force, this is why it's not working for you. First, you're getting very low open rate because you're using poor subject lines. So very few of your emails are actually getting opened. Your subject lines most invo must invoke curiosity, urgency, or a benefit, or two of these, or even all three. If they don't, they won't get open. And secondly, if their email does get open, it's not written properly again to get a good response. It's missing all the emotional and psychological triggers to make people respond. 
Here's some samples of email promotions I wrote that my clients are using with great success and it saves them time because they don't have to write their emails. They just use the, what I've already tested over the years and are proven to work. One for the new year, another for Christmas, another for Thanksgiving, one for Valentine's Day, one for Easter, one for bring a friend. All right, my fourth way to get new clients is by using re a referral system. Again, most salon professionals are doing it all wrong. First off, most don't have a true system in place. If they are getting any referrals, it is out of pure chance. And because of this, there's no consistency. They may get a few one week and nothing for a few weeks. And secondly, if it's not put together with much thought, it is difficult to manage. And then what happens is you and your staff stop using it. You must have a re referral system that motivates your staff, your clients, and your clients' friends, family members, and associates because then it's a true win-win. Your client wins because they save money on not buying gifts plus get a nice referral fee. Your client's friends, family member, or business associate wins because they get an attractive discount on the first time they use your services and you win because you get a happy new client who pays, stays, and refer others to you. And all my clients use my specific referral system which is way easier and simpler than what they have tried and didn't work. They let their clients sell for them. And my fifth way to get new clients is by using print advertising. Again, most salon professionals are doing it all wrong. First off, they are putting an ad in the wrong newspaper. You must only target people close to your location. They use the big newspapers in their area and 95% of the people seeing their ad would never be their client. And secondly, what they are doing wrong is the ad is not written properly to get their ideal client to respond. It doesn't follow the seven step formula I covered earlier. And now it's way easier for them because they simply use my proven ad and put it in a small local paper and it works like crazy. Here's Sherry's success story. Only, she only relied on a few referrals and a few walk-ins and business was not growing. Her expenses were increasing and was making less and less each year. Results now has four predictable ways to get new clients and her business is growing every month. Bree and Amber were spending thousands of dollars each month trying to get new clients and their salon pretty much had stopped growing. Last year they got over 350 new clients and opened a second location and are now using the same marketing and advertising systems to grow that location. Yvette is a sweet renter and could never get new clients on her own. Now she averages 17 new clients a month. And Debbie gave up trying to get new clients by marketing and advertising because she could never get it to work and now has gotten 161 new clients in the last six months. All right, I wanna quickly go over the real cost of not getting a constant flow of new clients coming in. These things happen every day and may be happening to you right now. Most of these have happened to me. First, some of your clients are going to leave you for reasons totally out of your control. They're going to move, some may sadly pass away, and others are going to try a relative who just got into the business. And and for other reasons as well. This is called attrition and it is common in our business. The salon industry says our annual attrition rate will be 16%. So if you do nothing, your business is declining. Secondly, your expenses are always increasing. So again, the amount of money you get to keep is decreasing. There is also a high possibility that a competitor or two or three opens up close to you and get some of your clients to switch to them because they are better at marketing and advertising than you are. This happens all the time. Every year I had another competitor set up shop close to me. When you don't have a constant flow of new clients coming in, your stylists or technicians aren't happy because they're not because they're sitting in their chair and a lot of them are reading magazines or messing around on their smartphones. They're not making the level of income they want and they blame you for not getting new clients. So, they are at a, so then you're at a risk of losing them. We all know what happens next. They take their clients with them, or at least some of them do, and you have a mess on your hands. The bottom line is this. When you have a constant flow of new clients coming in, everyone is making a lot of money, and they're not going to leave for something uncertain. And when other stylists see your parking lot was, is chock full all the time, they want to come and work with you and bring their clients with them. This happened to me. New styles were coming out of the woodwork to work for me. The word spreads really fast. I was surprised how fast. Another thing is that recessions come and go, and it's just a matter of time before the next one. 
If you have a system in place to attract high quality clients, your business is now recession proof. How many of your clients stopped coming in when the last recession hit? So as you can see, the costs and risks are rather high. However, they don't have to be. So all this adds up to empty chairs 52 weeks of the year and you end up not growing because you don't have enough new clients. Then you have a declining business with lower profits, which means you personally make less money. This is an awful way to live, isn't it? Basically, you have only two options to consistently attract and retain new high quality clients. You can go it alone, try and figure it all out on your own and waste a fortune in time and money. You're most likely doing this now. Get help from someone who's already paid the price in time and money who already has a proven system. You have a choice. I've set aside some time to speak to you personally and talk about how to apply the system directly to your salon or spa business starting today. And there's no, and there's not a cost, it's free. Who's this for? You must be committed to getting a constant flow of new high quality clients for your salon or spa. You must be serious about doing it the proper way. You must be willing to invest in yourself and your business. Why am I doing this? On this call, you're going to get a complete clarity as to what you need to do and what you need to stop doing in order to have a constant flow of new high quality clients and a hugely profitable business. Then if you want me to help you, and if you think it's a good fit, I may invite you to become one of my exclusive clients. If we work together, you will be put through the same exact training that Sherry, Bree, Amber, and my other successful students have been through. It's designed to target your ideal clients in your market area using my proven systems to get them to come in and be a lifelong client who pay well and refers others to you. I fully expect you to be getting results fast. All right, if you see the Apply Now tab, you can click on that or you can go to salonblueprint.com to apply. salonblueprint.com to apply. Spaces are limited, so apply now. I'm going to leave this slide on for a few minutes so you can write down the website address if you need to. Thanks for listening. Hoping to be talking with you. Goodbye for now.